episode of the latest with VR show. I have an awesome, when I say awesome, I mean awesome show today. I'm really excited. I've got Tracy Hill here. Then we've got saxophonist Cameron Ross. I'm such a fan. So as you can see, I'm a little excited over here. So I got to contain myself, get through <laughs> Tracy, because mm -hmm. Tracy, we're going to enjoy some music after this, okay? I will. Okay, so how you been doing, Tracy? I've been well. I've been doing well. Good. Okay, so Tracy is the owner, the creator of The Name Artist, which is why you see these lovely items behind us. So tell me a little bit about The Name Artist. The Name Artist is um, it's a personalized boutique, um, mainly housed online, mm -hmm. and we do custom rhinestone t-shirts. Yeah. Um, and we also have stock t-shirts. Okay. We do um, a lot of bags with your name or initial on it and it's pretty much done in rhinestone. Okay. Um, I do offer embroidery as well okay. but um, ladies like the stones. Yeah, they like the bling bling. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so tell me, do you actually, you know, go in with the pen and paper and design them or how, you know, did someone say, hey, I want a shirt that says, you know, I love me like you have. Do you actually sit down and you, you know, create the design of it? I am not an artist whatsoever, okay. <laughs> but I have taught myself a little Photoshop and okay. so I do a, some designing with okay. Photoshop. Um, and then I have a company that I send my designs to okay. and they'll actually turn that design into okay. rhinestone. Okay, gotcha. So um, I do do that and then mm -hmm. sometimes I'll hire designers okay. out and they'll do, do a design and okay. I can pretty much convert any design into a rhinestone design. Good. And I love, mm -hmm. I love you, like the I love me, of course. I love yeah. that shirt. And these back here, these are awesome. Now, is there anything that, you know, has anyone come to you and say, hey, I want a shirt that says, XYZ and you're like, oh, I don't know if, you know, I want to put my name with that. Has that ever happened? Um, not as of yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, not as of yet. Okay. Um, okay. Because I know like, like I consider, you know, people that do cakes and cupcakes, you know, they design some of the most elaborate things, but it's some things they create is like, I don't know if I would have put my name with that, yeah. you know, so I was just wondering if anyone has ever... You know, come to you with the, you know, an idea for something that's, you know, I not have, something to your liking. <laughs> um, no, not okay. really necessary. Uh, no, not really. Okay. Um, the only odd thing that mm -hmm. I had is, and I shouldn't say odd, it was just a preference. Okay. Um, there was a guy who wanted mm -hmm. some custom fitted tees. Okay. And I'm like, if you like it, I love it. So, right. <laughs> but no, nothing. Nothing, just, you know, yeah. out there, yeah. too out there, yeah. okay. And you do tees and bags, or do you have, like, do hats and, you know, leggings and stuff like that, or is it just tees and bags? Um, I have done all the above. Okay. Jeans, mm -hmm. tees, skirts, okay. um, shorts, okay. um, shoes, okay. so, but I, my niche, I kind of like to stay mm -hmm. within the tees and the bags, but okay. I, I will... Link out anything. anything. <laughs> yes. Okay, now one of my favorites that I've seen of your designs is the Scandal tee. Love mm -hmm. Scandal. You have to see the shirt. Yes. But mm -hmm. do you have like a favorite, you know, concept that someone said, hey, can you make me this tea? And you're like, oh, I love this. You know, have you, do you have a favorite? I do. I actually, um, when I started the name artist was about a year after okay. I started the name artist, um, okay. I went natural. Yeah. And so I started a, a line of natural hair teas. Okay. And those are kind of, I love those yeah. because they kind of represent me. Exactly. Um, so um, th that's probably my yeah. favorite, the line the natural of natural hair teas. Yes. yes, of course, you know, I love, <laughs> love the natural teas as well. Now the name the name artist. How did you come up with that name for it? Well, uh, because I started out just doing the names on the bags and oh, t-shirts, Okay. Um, I wanted something a little clever, mm -hmm. something, I knew it was kind of artistry. I didn't necessarily draw, but yeah. it was kind of a Yes. I, it was still considered art. It is very much so. And then I was doing names, <laughs> and so, so okay. I just kind of the name artist. Okay, and how long have you been doing this? About six years. Six years. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so 
You've been doing this for six years. You have the teas, you have the bags, even though you'll bling out anything. Yeah. What's next for the name artist? Um, we are trying to, not trying, we're going to get in the, okay. in the mall and have a, a store in the mall. Oh, so good. that's what we're working yeah. on now. Which mall? Look, look at it. <laughs> we're working on Wolf Chase Mall. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Oh, and you're going to have, when is that coming? Well, we're pushing for December 1st. That's um, soon. Yes, it is. Okay. So if not December 1st, mm -hmm. within 2014, early okay. 2014. So. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm excited. You should be very excited. I'm so happy for you, yes. Tracy. That's good. So listen, now, I didn't know this. This is new information to me. So if you're ever in the Wolf Chase Mall and you see the name artist, make sure you pick up something from Tracy. As you can see, her items are spectacular, especially the natural hairlines, which, you know, we both have that in common. So, so we love those pieces, but she can design anything, like she said, even, you know, from your shoes to a hat, you know, she will have you covered. So this is your time to shine now, Tracy. Tell them how they can reach you, your webpage, you know, you're on Facebook, your social media outlets, all that good stuff. I am on Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, um, Instagram, all under um, either the name artist or natural beauties. Um, the website for The Name Artist is www.thenameartist.com and you can also find me at <laughs> www.naturalbeauties.com. So. so Natural Beauties, that's yours also? It is. I didn't know that. It, look, yeah. Tracy, okay, we learned a lot about <laughs> what's going on. So, oh, okay, I didn't know uh -huh, that. That's a spinoff. When okay. I started doing a little bit of the natural hair yeah. t-shirts, I kind of, I like the natural beauty, so I kind of did a spinoff of, yes. you know, of the name artist. I follow natural beauty. Yes, you do. I do. Okay, <laughs> Tracy, you got a lot going on right now. This is wonderful. I'm so happy that you were able to come. So now also, too, natural beauties. I love that name. That's so cute. You have to reach out to Tracy as well on that. So thank you so much for joining oh, me, Tracy. Thank you so much for You me. are so nice and so sweet, and you are just... Uh, lovely and i'm so glad that you were able to come and show us your wonderful thing well, thank you so much for having all me right. well you have to come back again next well, time you. when you have something you know extra spectacular going on Sounds good. <laughs> okay well thank you guys we're going to go to a quick commercial break when we come back cameron ross he's going to be here so make sure you stay tuned in hey does your food suffer from a flavor deficiency well, let Flying Sobeys Multi-Purpose Buffalo Wing Sauce give you a smack in the mouth with flavor. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I give you a Flying Sobeys Flavor Smack in the Mouth? Well, sure you can. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Can I have a Flavor Smack in the Mouth, too? Sure you can. With Flying Sobeys Multi-Purpose Buffalo Wing Sauce. Get you some today. I play hard. When I was a kid, playing professional basketball seemed like an impossible dream. There were the 10 mile runs, the hours spent in the gym, the conditioning, the full court sprints, strength training, sweat, dedication. There was a dream to win a championship. But some things in life are more important than a ring, like my health. Diabetes and kidney disease might run in your family, but there are things you can do to help prevent it from happening to you. By eating right and exercising, you can rise above the rim and keep your health in check. Join me in the fight against diabetes and kidney disease. Saxophonist Cameron Ross is joining me as my guest. So I get to dig in and ask him a few questions, see what's going on with him. So Cameron, what's been going on? How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. good. Now, Cameron, you have a lot going on right now, <laughs> which is amazing. I'm so like, Cameron was actually, were you my very first when I started blogging? Cameron, I think was my very first interview 
So this right. is like crazy right now that <laughs> it's crazy that I actually like have a TV show and you're on it now. Right. Even exactly. though, <laughs> which is so cool. So I'm glad that you're here. We finally got to catch up. So now you are like this big name. Even here in Memphis, you're not even from Memphis, but you just had your concert. Right. Which um, was a Cameron and Friends concert. Mm -hmm. So is that the first time you've headlined? Like a concert or, or you know what, that was the first time I headlined one to that magnitude. Okay. And you know, I've done a lot okay. of small concerts and everything, but okay. nothing of that scale. Of that scale. Okay. And now you play the saxophone, but growing up you wanted to play the drums. Right. Is that how it was? Right. I wanted to play the drums uh -huh. and parents would let me pretty much told me no. You know, you can't make any money playing the drums, so oh, my mom my mom was like, You're mm -hmm. I'm a big Kenny G fan, so I want okay. you to be like him. Oh. So here, here I am now. <laughs> well it worked out. <laughs> right. So thank you, Mom, for, <laughs> for that. But um you play all different types of music. You do jazz, R and B, gospel. Is there a favorite type of music that you like to do? I don't have a particular genre that okay. I lean toward. I just I just like sharing with people. Okay. And all the songs that I play I make sure that there are songs that are going to touch somebody. Okay. So I pretty much pick songs that are going to inspire, uplift, right. okay. you know, just get people feeling good pretty right. much. Right, exactly. Because I, the first time I saw you perform was on the Loretta McNary right. show and I was touched. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I can see why you've grown, you know, so much into like such a big name, especially, you know, here in Memphis. So I, I get it. And now this may be, a crazy question but I understand you know singers how you know they write songs you mm -hmm. know to sing but when you're doing an instrumental how how is that written or are you you know doing your own material or is it just basically you cover other songs or you know how does that work it's a mixture of both okay. when, when I approach people approach songs a different way okay when they're when they're instrumental artists yeah. what I do I approach it as a singer would do it Okay. So, like, for all the songs that I create, mm -hmm. there are lyrics to them. Oh, so okay. I'm not the best singer, <laughs> so, you know, I'm humming these melodies in okay. my head. A lot of times I have a little recorder around with me or my phone. Right, if okay. I, If something comes to my mind, I just record it. I'll hum it or I, right. if I have my horn around me, I'll play it. And when I'm practicing, I just put all those ideas together. Okay. I've always wondered that. Like, how do you write? you know, an instrumental, but thank you for breaking it down for me. Now, you've had your headliner here in Memphis, and you mm -hmm. travel to so many different places, and recently you went to Canada, correct? Right. How was that experience? That was an awesome experience. Really? <laughs> because I was in Toronto, okay, and just the atmosphere is so different. I can imagine. Than here <laughs> in the South. <laughs> totally, totally different experience. Okay. Yeah. Now, I know that you're a middle school teacher, correct? Middle school and high school. Middle school and high school. Right. So, even though I think that you're a big deal, do your students think that you're a big deal? Well, you know, my students, they tend to try to downplay it. <laughs> okay. You know, oh, that's Mr. Ross, you know. Right. But a lot of times, I even offer them extra points like I had really? several that came to my last concert okay. so if you come you know you get you give them extra some extra points <laughs> so, but you know all, all of the parents they mm -hmm. seem to support me and everything oh good and even even my school faculty okay a lot of them support my shows mm -hmm. and everything and because there's a lot of times when like for instance when mm -hmm. I came back from Toronto I got off the plane, mm -hmm. changed clothes, mm -hmm. and went to my class. Oh, wow. So that, that happens all the time. <laughs> I leave, leave the airport straight to the school. Okay, <laughs> so. gotcha. So do you ever, like, in your mind, have you dreamt of, okay, one day I won't be teaching, I'll just be traveling? All the time. You know, full time? That's okay. my, that's my, thing. That's my, my final goal. Okay, okay. Is that, is to leave teaching at okay. some point. Okay, okay. So. Yeah, well, that's that's big. So <laughs> when you get to that point, that is right. going to be awesome, and I'll still be saying, "Look, I had Cameron Ross on my show," <laughs> and I'll still be just as excited as I am now because you are doing some wonderful things. Now you have a new album coming up. Right. Tell me how it's different from the first one. Well, this second album. Well, let me talk about the first one. Okay. The the first album was like a mixture of um, R and B. Mm -hmm mixture of soul, mixture of gospel and jazz. Okay. Like a lot of fusions just, just fused together, different okay. types of music. And this next one is totally going to be all gospel. Okay. Because like 
the bulk of the stuff that I do is mm -hmm. in churches. Yeah. Like, you know, just about every Sunday or every other <laughs> Sunday, I'm traveling somewhere right. playing at churches. So, mm -hmm. you know, I want to have something that I can, you know, fully deliver to them. Okay. So this next album, that's what that is. So okay. Just, just straight, straight gospel. Straight gospel. Now, straight church. Yeah. <laughs> now, is it your music or are you covering other or is it a mixture of both? A mixture. Or? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Okay. Now, Cameron, when I see you on Facebook and, you know, the social media outlets, you're very, you come across very laid back and very, you know, cool and smooth. So mm -hmm. I want to dig into, you know. Okay. Cameron Ross, not the saxophonist, but just Cameron Ross. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. Maybe a little personal, but, you know, chill out the answers. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so this is a quick would you ever, okay? Okay. Now, you said you sing a little bit. Would you ever do karaoke? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it before. You have? I've done it before. Okay. At a okay. family reunion, I did it. Okay, <laughs> see, now that's different. <laughs> that's different, When right? you're with family, yes. Okay, but we'll say maybe. We'll keep maybe. Okay. Ride a motorcycle. Would you ever do that? No. No, you wouldn't? No. Okay. Date an older woman. I'm married, but... Sorry, wife. If... <laughs> if... If I was single, I would. You would date the older mm -hmm. one? Okay. Go to a nude beach. Would you ever do that? Been there, done it. Are you serious, yes. Cameron? Yes. <laughs> it, it, was, it was by accident. Okay. I, was, I, it was, I was in college. Oh. And it was me, my brother, and some mm -hmm. cousin. We were on the beach. It was, it was a regular beach. And so we are just walking. We just uh -huh. kept walking. And then we just got to the part where it became a nude beach. Are you serious? And so we see all these old people. They were playing volleyball. No. Was, <laughs> okay. I don't want that visual. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, my so goodness. I, 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 okay. I wasn't expecting that answer. Okay. Um, get a tattoo. Would you ever do that? Probably not. Okay. <clears throat> uh, walk out on a bill in a restaurant. Would you ever do that? No. No? No. Have you ever done that? Never done that. Okay. I was trying to think, but no, I haven't done that. <laughs> okay, not your crazy right. college days. You've never done that <laughs> while you were on that new beat. Right. <laughs> okay, well, those are all my would you ever's. We're going to okay. go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, Cameron is going to perform for us. Give us a special treat. So make sure you stay tuned in. We'll be right back. The purpose of this PSA is to show you the image you may have of somebody who is HIV positive is probably wrong. You can be in a relationship with somebody who has HIV or AIDS, but you can't go into a situation blind. You have to know what you're working with up front. Get an HIV test so both partners can be safe. In this day and age, AIDS is no longer a death sentence. I wasn't supposed to live past the age of five. I'm now 27. So if you get a positive HIV result, talk to your healthcare provider about starting treatment. I'm Hydea, and I have AIDS. Please, get tested. If we contemplate our past to understand ourselves, there we will find how far we have come. How far we need to go. In what we have become. In what we will eventually be. If we search even deep. Consider all the elements that make up our human potential. There we will find an awe-inspiring discovery. Knowledge is to be sought. Gained, embraced through education. And this education transforms everything. Ignorance becomes awareness. Awareness awakens possibilities. Through education, life unfolds, expands, takes shape. And through this self-revelation, 
we gradually appreciate a saying passed down from generation to generation. An adage whose meaning becomes apparent. And the saying is this, that when we combine a pursuit of knowledge, magic happens. I'm Angela Bassett here to ask you to support Virginia State University, building a better world since 1882. All right, so we are back. Cameron Walks here. As you can see, he's got his baby. What do you just, your sex phone have a name? No, I haven't given him a name yet. No. <laughs> I, th I thought they were all supposed to have like a name like uh, BB King. I did something. that in the past, but for some reason, <laughs> my other horns have names, but I have Oh, that one, one yeah. doesn't have a name. Right. It's kind of oh. the unknown sex. <laughs> we'll call it unknown then for now. But as you can see, he has his baby with him and he's going to play for us. But before that, tell me what's next for Cameron Ross. You've done so much already, but now what do you have coming up next? Well, next, um, I have a lot of private events coming up, okay. a lot of Christmas events, mm -hmm. um, just different holiday parties and things like that. Um, December 15th, I'm doing a jazz Christmas show in Nashville. Oh. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And That's good. then just riding the New Year in. Okay, very good. Now, I always give my guests their time to shine. Tell everyone how they can reach you, how they can purchase your music. Purchase his music, he's good. And, um, <laughs> you know, go to your website and your all your social media avenues, okay. all that good stuff. Well, my website is www.cameronrossmusic.com. Also, you can find me on Facebook under Cameron Ross Music. That's my fan page. Twitter is Cameron Ross Sax. That's Cameron Ross AX. <laughs> also, you can find me on Instagram under Cam Sex. And I have a Pinterest and other things that I just don't use. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you've got something there in your yes. hand. What is it? Because you can't play with this in your yes. hand. What is this? This you got? is my first CD that I just released <laughs> last year called New Perspective. Yes. And I would like to present it Thank to you. Thank you so much. And it's autographed and everything. Yes. So I can tell my grandbabies will never have some grandbabies. <laughs> Like, look, Cameron Ross, you know, he's playing at, uh, what's the place in New York? The big, uh, Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall. And I'm like, look, see, I always say I spoke it into existence. Well, when you get there, it'll be all on me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. Cameron's going to play us out. But before we go, let me, uh, shout out my sponsors. L3 Media videography photography they do it all oh december is coming up they're going to have pictures with santa every weekend so make sure you take the kitties out i'll post the information below so you can go and make sure you check them out any event that you're having fashion show birthday parties any type of party weddings you name it they will be there they're so professional they're great guys and you want to make sure you look them up. Also, Sobe's Wing Sauce. Thank you, Sobe. He is at all of the super low food stores in Memphis. Make sure you check him out. Also, Fashionably Lethal, my necklace. Thank you so much, Kimberly. She hooked me up. She always, you know, has me looking fly. So thank you for that. Um, I think that's it. Make sure you tune in to all of my social media networks. YouTube, of course, to check out my videos if you miss them on Comcast 31, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, you name it, I have it. Just make sure you reach out to me and I will at least attempt to reach back out to you. I'm, you know, pretty accessible. So make sure you do that. And thank you for watching another episode of the latest. And remember, it's always the latest with VR. And I am going to give it over to Cameron Ross. He's playing oh, Alicia Keys. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. I hope you do too. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>